fairly close? Did he confide in you, or did you know that he was struggling with, with being here? Uh, I know that, you know, everybody, it, it, it's it's not easy being a Notre Dame. You know, it's Notre Dame music for everybody. Um, and I knew that he was struggling. Um, but, yeah, he didn't really, he didn't really express really how he truly felt to me, I guess, because he didn't want to um, upset me. He felt that he would upset me um, by doing that, but um, I found out that same morning, and you know, it hurt. Because um, like I said, um, I cared about Aaron the kid, not the player. And everybody else cares about what he does, and, and it's obvious because poor kid is, is getting heat. I mean, that's not fair. I mean, that's not fair for a 19-year-old to be hounded by you know, people online on his Facebook. And stuff. That's, that's not fair. Um, so as, as an older brother, you know, I look at that and I'm just there for him. Just like, don't read that stuff. Just, you know what you got to do. Is, you know that your family here and they will always love you no matter what. And he knows that. And you know, like I said, I'm going to miss a kid. Did he surprise you a little bit when he found out? Uh, yeah, it was, it was real surprising for me. I knew he was struggling. Um, obviously, I was surprised because I didn't know it to that extent. Um, but, um, like I said, I love the kid. And he's he's going to do great wherever he goes. Did you, you guys, you and Jamoris and some of the leaders, make a point to kind of pick the guys up after that news? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we all understand that, um, you know, that there's nothing that we can do about it, um, so we have to just keep going. And, um, you know, uh, like I said, a lot of all of us, we miss him, but um, practice is still when practice is, and you know, we practice is still two hours long, and, you know, we're going to get after it for two hours.